So then let's get back to real life, okay? This is what's happening. Hey kids! So I guess you're wondering how it works at the chicken ranch. Because I know that I was. It's kind of intriguing. Let me explain. The girls come in and they have to stay anywhere from 10 days to two weeks. They first go to the doctor, either at the chicken ranch or in Las Vegas. They have to be examined. A lot of them come in from different parts of the country, like Atlanta, Houston, North Carolina, places like that. I know I went from city to state, but that's okay. I'm not a geography major. What can I tell you? So anyway, after the doctor's appointment, which they pay for, they come to the ranch and they have to get a sheriff's card from my county. That costs them $125 for three months. Yeah, for three months. I mean, it's good for three months. They come and they go. Like, they'll come for two weeks and they'll go home for two weeks or they'll go home for a month and then they come back. When they're at the ranch, they have to pay rent for their room that they have. Each girl has their own room. Those rooms are like just bare bones until the girls come. They can either bring their own bedding and stuff like that or there's this room called the nunnery and it's filled with all different uh, bedspreads and sheets and pillows and pillowcases and uh, curtains and stuff like that. And the girls can decorate their rooms from that room or like I said, they can bring their own, uh, their own decorations. Once the girls come into the house, the shift manager, who is me, has to sift through their bags. I mean, like, literally, totally invade their privacy. You have to go through everything, okay? Because if there is drugs there, they can't come in. No drugs, no alcohol. And as a matter of fact, they told me about this one girl who tried to bring in, like, loads of drugs. She got arrested. They called the Knight County Sheriff. And while she was waiting, while she was waiting for her parents to pick her up, the sheriff came. I mean, don't, I would have been like, uh, see you later, bye. I would have walked. Waiting for your parents to come, her parents to come and pick her up at the chicken ranch. Woo! I don't know. Either it was easier to explain it to the parents or... I don't know, maybe it was a family business. Who knows? Anyway, so like I said, now you got the girls have to pay for the doctor, then they have to pay for their sheriff's card, then they have to pay for their room. And now, anything that they do at the ranch is considered a party. Okay? So when they have a party, they get half. Yeah, so the owner of the chicken ranch gets half. So he really is just a glorified pimp. I don't know if he claims to be a business owner or what, but he's a pimp. So let me tell you a scenario. Two guys came to the ranch. They were on their way to a lake for a fishing trip. And I don't know if they wanted to like blow off steam so that, you know, like after a little while, they didn't start looking good to each other. <laughs> I'm taken back to that, uh, that Seinfeld one where Newman was really hungry and he looked at Kramer and Kramer looked like a turkey. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of when I seen these two guys coming in, going fishing. They were going to be out at a lake together for a couple of days. And I guess like that they just didn't want to look like a turkey to each other. <laughs> you know, good to each other. So... They stopped at the chicken ranch. They each got a little goodie. So here's how it works. When the men come in and they want to meet a lady and spend some time with her, there are two different ways that they can do it. They can either have a lineup, which is where the man, the men, man, men sit on a couch or there's a, there's two couches and two chairs, two couches and a chair, whatever. They sit wherever they want. And then the ladies come out in a lineup. This big curtain opens up behind them, so that and there's a big mirror there, so that the guys can see their butts as well as their faces. And then we turn the lights on them, which enhance their most desirable parts. <laughs> and the men can either pick a woman that way, that's called a lineup. But in a lineup, the ladies just introduce themselves by name, and they cannot converse. The man can't ask them any questions, and the ladies don't talk to them. All right. Then there's another way where the man can go into the bar, have a drink, and the ladies, all the ladies go out and they sit at the high top tables and they just, the man can turn around and all the ladies are there. 
and they can talk to each other and you know chit chat and mingle and see if see if anybody appeals to you and that is called a barler like a bar parlor you know a barler okay a lot of parties start that way because a man will chat and then say oh would you take me on a tour because we offer free tours and the ladies will take you on a tour the men will usually give them a tip and that will usually usually leads to a drink and then a party oh it's gonna have a party not my kind of party but either way if they pick a lady from a lineup or from the barler they end up in the ladies room which is where they negotiate so now the lady will negotiate a price with the man and then she'll come out and she'll book she'll book the party she'll tell you how much she's booking so in the case of those two fishermen each one picked a lady from a lineup they each went back to each lady's bedroom and the ladies came out and booked. The first lady came out and booked $600, $600. And then the other, and two ladies cannot be in the office booking at the same time. It's just not done, okay? And then the other lady came out and she booked $1,000. Yeah, and I think they both got the same thing done. So anyway, and uh, 10 minutes later, each one was done. <laughs> and the ladies will come out and go, he's done. It's kind of surreal, you know, sitting around and talking to these beautiful young ladies who were just standing there in a pair of panties and a bra all day long, high heels, you know. Well, they'll take their high heels off if they're in the office. They'll have the little bedroom slippers on or something and maybe a, a house coat. But whenever they're in the bar or at a lineup, they have to have heels on, okay? But it's, like I said, it's just surreal to be talking to a young lady like nothing, and then all of a sudden she's grabbing a guy's hand and going off with him. And you know, your mind wonders, what the hell is going on in that room? I don't know if you guys are wondering that, but I was always wondering that. Anyway, I did talk to the lady who booked the thousand dollars later and i'm like geez when you go in your room how do you negotiate and she really didn't go into detail about her particular uh negotiating technique but she did tell me that she's been watching negotiating technique videos on youtube and she was booking big money so i guess those are working one girl was telling me that she went home with about five thousand dollars after two weeks then one lady told me that she went home with about $1,900 and the last few days she was there, she wound up paying because it was so slow. So it's hit and miss. There's also a thing where uh, they give taxi drivers uh, a kickback for bringing parties out there. There's, there's also signs that go on the wall that will tell a lady that the customer was brought here by a limo or by a taxi because they will factor that into their negotiation because they have to give the taxi or limo driver a certain amount. I think it's like a hundred dollars off the first 500 of the price of the party and then 20% thereafter. I don't know, but so the ladies figure all that in. Oh, um, uh, there's a chef there who makes three meals a day. And the ladies are entitled to three meals a day. And when you're the shift manager, you're entitled to one meal a day. It's like the, the most well-stocked kitchen I ever saw. It's cookies and cakes and fruits and vegetables and salads. And oh my God, the food is incredible there. And you can go for a free tour. You can stop and stop in anytime and go for a free tour. There are there are uh, souvenirs for sale and there's a little sign that not too many people see that says come in for a free drink so go in for a free drink and that's basically how it works at the chicken ranch if you have any questions i'll answer your questions but unfortunately i had to quit the chicken ranch